Hey followers, welcome to Monday Night's Pro Tips. Tonight's video is bringing you not one, but two tutorials for creating an updo on fine and shorter hair. These will show you how to create volume without looking too uh, matted, and it will also give you some tips and techniques on how to easily create this style without having to do any pre-curling. I've noticed on quite a few other videos that I've been nosing around over on Instagram and um, YouTube that there's quite a lot of people that are requesting tutorials for finer hair. So cue me. If you're going to be creating this on yourself at home, I've also added in some little tips for you as we go through. And if you're a professional, you can follow this step by step. Any other tutorials you would like to see, drop me in the comments. I'll be bringing you some more of these on finer hairs. If you want to see any other videos like this, then remember to subscribe. Karen in this video will also be coming to you on another tutorial where I am going to teach her how to recreate the style on herself. So we're going to be taking a step by step through the style and she's going to, and she does not do hair on herself ever. So it was a bit of a learning curve, but we're going to be editing that video and getting that up shortly for you at home. So remember to subscribe and I hope you find this video useful. We're going to whiz in two very simple hairs that will work on short and fine hair. You don't need to pin and curl your hair first. Um, we have just prepped the hair for a previous video, so I've just made sure this is in. So you could do this. You might just need to pop a little bit of something around the front of your hairline if you need to smooth out with straighteners or with a little curling iron but for purposes of this you wouldn't need to. If you want to see Karen recreate one of these styles on her own head we're going to be doing that next week. So this section here just behind the ears and we're going to leave a small section of this so it'll help create thickness and we can drape around the face. All this section here we are going to put some back combing into. Taking this up and forward and putting some shape into this. I'm just going to use fingers just to pinch this into place. And from this front section, we're just going to make sure we've kind of got like a horseshoe shape around the front. I'm just going to leave this section but take this small piece just to drape into and make sure we've got this really nice shape. We're not going to worry too much about the state of the ponytail above. We're going to come through the hair, topsy turvy this section, and coming through, taking the bobble and twisting that round. some of this back into the right shape. So if you're doing this on yourself you want to use your hands and just feel around that this feels, the shape feels nice and rounded. Teasing through the front. Pull out any pieces you like around the hairline. Twist and drape along with that. twist, take the little tops over and push through. Make sure that that is all swishing with the same shape as the front and leaving any pieces out around the front of the hairline that you like. So we're going to repeat that on the other side. And we go teasing through the front, leave that in pieces. down following the same shape on the bottom. So if you have a fringe you might prefer to keep a centre of a centre part in to drape this on both sides um, but you can also take all this straight back and if it's slightly shorter and won't reach you can just hide a pin on the ends and it will all disappear. So if you take your sections through you can pin into these sections with your pieces of hair from the back and then it'll just accentuate the texture. Pinching this and pulling with the other hand. And then the 
this again is going to follow into the top two. And then our bottom section, I'm just going to pop a little bit of teasing. Spray that section so we've got a nice bit of padding through. Just to go and smooth out the bottom. And my lips are going to pinch this into a ponytail, wrap it on itself and pin up to the topsy. Take your pin, not open it, catch the top of your twist, take that in to the hair that's against the head, twist it over and push that in. Picking up the hair from the twist, taking it over to the hair on the head and pushing into so where your tops is we're going into there which will then lock in any side pieces too taking this push that in there take the end and push a very simple vertical roll now we're going to show you a horizontal roll i've done any um prep first you might just want to smooth around the hairline or put a little curl through the hairline i've already recreated this look on myself so if you want this version for a longer thicker hair then you can see that here but for a finer and shorter hair we're just going to make sure the shape is right around the front so we're taking a little bit of back combing in the root so i've taken the section almost where if you were wearing a headband so we've got this front piece of hair in front of it and then this bit's going to go back to create some height and shape but if you are particularly fine in this area you can take this back a little bit so you've got a bit more hair around that front you just want to tease your hair all the way through it's nothing aggressive it will comb out really really easily so don't have a panic about damage to so come through right through the back now we've got this shape in the top and just tease right the way through the middle ends and ends so we've got some grip now we've got some teasing all the way through we're just going to put a bit of hair straight through karen's hair is short it is fine but she does have a natural curl so it does help with the grip um, if you want to see how to add some more grit into your hair if it's very slippy, you can see how, what products are used on finer hair to create long lasting curls and you can do that in this video. So we're taking like a horseshoe shape section, so almost the bit that creates the shape from the front. We're going to pin this first just so that is in place and it's not going to get distorted when you start doing the side section. So usually if I was doing this on a client, I would do this one side and the other side but for you guys at home if you're recreating on your own you want to make sure this shapes in and it'll make it easier for you so we're just going to pop this in we're going to tease out and you can make this as messy or as sleek as you like and in this section we're going to take a hairpin here into the twist and pin upwards into that twist so we can't see it take another one slightly higher but going in a downward so we're going to end up crisscrossing those pins into the twist and under so then you won't see those hairpins are twisted uh, hairpins are crisscrossed underneath the hair and then I'm going to take this side over so we're picking up all the hair on this side taking that over Pulling down any pieces here, so if you want this to be slightly looser. And then from just across the pleat, so almost the other side of the twist, we're going to take a pin down. So I'm holding on to all of this hair like a ponytail, pinching it over one side. And we're again, we're going to crisscross the hair grips. This helps anchor them all in so they're not slipping. Um, so I'm going to take another one coming into into the head. You don't want to go too far over to into this hair because when we swoop this over your hair grips will poke out the other side. And then we're going to take another hairpin, 
pinch this hair and then we're going to go up and crisscross again. So we've now got three hairpins, depending on the depth of your head will depend on how many hairpins you need. But just pin it until that feels secure. Then when we bring this hair across, we're again going into the twist and pinning inwards. When we pin inwards, this is what's going to be our anchor. So you want to make sure that these are crisscrossed and they feel secure. Swooshing these short pieces round. Taking back comb and just going to tame the top layer but we want to keep all the teasing underneath taking all this and pinching with your finger and your thumb and then we're going to take the ponytail and roll that in to the other side push this in take it right over and pinch now believe it or not with finer and shorter hair, this style is much easier to create on your own. The thicker hair is quite heavy and it's hard to keep it in place. So for you guys, it should be quite easy. I'm just gonna pinch this bottom section, take the pin onto that twist taking it over and we're going to push into the twist and we're catching those hairpins underneath so we've got a nice swoosh and then we just need to tuck the top and then bring this over and pinch that top so all she's got in this twist coming over this one side are three hairpins so we're taking the top of that twist taking over and pushing down and now the twist is following all the way down and then just feel with your hands you probably feel you've got a little bit of a gap here and we just want to create a bit of a pinch to bring those two together you can put fresh flowers down here you can put a hair pinch you can put a nice comb in um, it works with a fascinator hatinator whichever you're going to a wedding and you can wear it as loose or as sleek as you like but have a go and keep trying don't give up because sometimes the first time you try it you get achy arms and all that kind of thing the more you try the better you get very bit old fashioned right i'm just going to turn you again because i was on camera for the first time now sometimes i get annoyed at myself afterwards because i've been hope you found those videos useful guys um if you are looking for any more pro tips or getting yourself noticed in the hair industry then there is a downloadable in the comments below and there is also a link through to our facebook community come and find us on facebook or instagram and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching